Hey everyone, it's Nate with Dorsum Reviews. I've got some great news. I've been invited back to Milwaukee's NPS 19 this year. That's their new product symposium. It's going to be the first week of June uh, and they're going to unveil all of their tools they're working on for 2019. So last year I had some complete wild guesses as to what we might see at NPS 18, but this year I did my research. I found a bunch of Milwaukee patent applications online for tools that don't exist yet, but it's very obvious Milwaukee's done some development work on. So let's take a look at what I found. Recently, Milwaukee revamped their M12 ratchets, and it looks like they're pushing the envelope even further with an M12 powered torque wrench. I'm willing to bet this one's gonna have one key enablement, uh, which is gonna be great for reporting and quality control purposes. This one is what looks to be an M12 one-handed chainsaw, which is pretty amazing considering you're pulling a lot of power out of those M12 packs. The design is very similar to their M12 hacksaw design. It looks like they've just taken that and put a chainsaw in the front of it instead of using a reciprocating saw blade. It does have a spot for automatic oiling as well. Uh, we'll see if they can fit this into an M12 form factor. That'll be really truly impressive for overhead pruning. Milwaukee is also looking into a pack out compatible compatible power station. So it looks like you can take M18 batteries, plug them in, wheel them around in your pack out and you've got power to go. You just plug it into your pack out base as you're going. Uh, so they've done a lot of development work in pack out. They've promised us a lot of new products for the pack out line. I'm excited to see this. Uh, it's good competition for the DeWalt power station that's been out for a few years. Next up, we've got supercapacitors built into tools. So Milwaukee's done huge advancements in their battery technology in the last year with their high output batteries using 21700 cells. They can kick out a lot more current than the existing batteries they had previously. However, there's still limitations on how much current you can dump out of those battery cells at once. So I think they're taking supercapacitors, building them into tools that have momentary, really, really high draw power needs. Uh, and allowing the battery to charge those supercapacitors within the tool and when you need the power like with a nail gun maybe uh, It'll really kick it out. So if you'll notice in this patent application There is a nail gun pictured uh, a couple years ago. They released nail guns, but missing from that was a framing nailer I think this might be the breakthrough through they need for a true pneumatic replacement framing nailer while we're talking about high output batteries, we could be seeing high output M12 batteries, which I did not expect at all. If you look at this drawing, you see the 18650 cells in the stem of this battery pack, which you have to do because these fit within the tool and you can't make it any bigger. But on the base where the XC little area is down here, they're adding, they're looking at adding 21700 cells, which are a lot bigger. That will allow the batteries to output more current. We could be seeing seven amp hour batteries out of these to power things like the M12 circular saw and that M12 chainsaw we saw design drawings for. One really interesting thing I found was a propane powered battery charger. So instead of bringing a generator and a charger, you just bring this thing. It looks like it can charge up to six batteries at a time. No word on whether it's parallel or sequential though. So Milwaukee is pretty much the undisputed leader in cordless lighting technology for the job site. And it looks like they're coming out with a giant site light that's meant to illuminate a whole wide area. This light is much bigger than the existing rocket lights they have right now. Uh, the rocket lights are six and a half to seven feet tall. This thing is so tall, it's got a hand crank to extend the mast way overhead for true overhead lighting. It's, it's so big, it's got wheels to move it around hand truck style, and it looks like it's got room on board for at least six M18 batteries. So those are all the noteworthy finds I found on Google Patents. You're welcome to go look yourself. I've linked the patents down below. Uh, and just a reminder, these are completely public. It's what Milwaukee has filed. It's not necessarily the tools they're gonna come out with, but they have done development work on all of these since there are patent applications. I am still hoping to see a bunch of woodworking tools like the M18 cordless router, an M12 23 gauge pinner, and an M18 cordless track saw. So let me know what you guys think about these patent applications I found, if you're interested in any of those, and if you've got your own hopes that you're going to see coming up in MPS 19.